Hey everybody, thanks for coming in and uh, checking me out, watching the video. So in this uh, particular video, we're going to talk about SIM cards. And SIM cards are fairly important, really important in case you uh, decide to keep your cell expense low when you're traveling all over the world. I'm going to give you my particular case in Thailand here when I came. So basically with Verizon, I know that you can go around do an international plan. T-Mobile has them as well. There's a lot of phone companies out there. They all do the international plan. Some are better than others. However, when I moved to Thailand on a more permanent basis or like a second home basis or whatever you want to call it, any length of time, I wanted to make sure that I would be able to use my home phone number in Arizona, what I found out was there are SIM cards that you can get in Thailand as soon as you land, and there are stark differences between the two. And basically what happens is in the US, you pay for your data plan. On your data plan, you've got all the social media apps, everything, all that data counts. When you come to Thailand, they have 5G, they've got a True and they've got uh, AIS and a few other uh, companies out there. And basically they have packages where on these unlimited plans, the data from social media apps is not counted. So all the Instagram, all the stuff you're doing like that on Facebook, none of that counts towards your data. So you have a huge amount of data, not to mention the cost of it is normally about 5 to $6 a month in American dollars, whereas opposed, you know what your unlimited plans are in the US. So it's, abs it's crazy. It's a huge difference. Now, one of the issues that I have was, do I carry two phones? Because I have to keep my permanent number and I have to get my Thai number. And I don't want to keep switching out cards. I know that when I traveled here the first time, I took the SIM card out that I had from Verizon and I put in the SIM card from Thailand. And then when I got home, I flipped them back, but then I didn't get on any of my messages. It was crazy, all this other stuff. And I always thought about why can't these phones like have two SIM cards? I, I didn't know. And I was asking everybody. And when I mean everybody, I looked at YouTube videos, I looked everywhere, and nowhere could I find anything about two SIM cards. I got here, and when I was talking to somebody, when I was uh, rolling one night at one of the jiu-jitsu places in Bangkok, a guy showed me, hey, if it were like a Samsung phone or something else, you can you know switch out between the SIM cards. I'm like, how does Apple not have dual SIM cards? So on the newer phones, I don't know about the old phones, but I always get the new phones when they come out. Finally, I just walked into a into the True G or True, whatever the place is called here, at Central Festival at the mall. And I walked, I said, hey, I need to get a SIM card for Thailand. I want to put it in here blah, blah, blah. And basically what I found out was, which nobody could tell me, I'm talking people at Verizon. I'm talking about people at T-Mobile. I'm talking about people at Apple. None of them knew this. None of them knew this. So I was going to use like Google, I don't know, was it Google Talk or Google something. There's something you can do like on a short-term basis and you can use two different numbers or whatever else, but it doesn't, it's not a long-term switch or a long-term solution. I'm sorry. So basically I went and I got this SIM card put in and now on my phone, I can still get incoming phone calls from the United States and use my cell plan that I have in Arizona for that. And then when I call people, I could also, they'll show my number. If I call from Thailand and I try to do business in America, they're going to be like, why is the Thai number calling? And they, no one, the robot callers, everything will block you, even if you're legitimately calling them. So my T-Mobile plan is still like international plan at the end of the month is like a hundred dollars a month, which is unbelievably crazy. I can't believe I still have to pay for it, but I need the number. So I'm keeping it. My plan here is like $5 a month. And that's where I use all of my cellular data. I mean, all of my browsing data, everything else. And you can switch off between the two. When you want to use your data, use it on the Thai number. When you need to you know, call home or whatever else, you want to get phone calls, you use the other one. And it has smart switching too. It'll go back and forth. So it's very, very simple to use. It blew my mind when I found this out. It blew my mind even more that no one else knew about this. So I hope this helped you out. Remember, you can get two SIM cards. And actually on the new iPhones, I think about it, they're not even physical cards anymore. They, they're electronic SIM cards, eSIM cards. They just download automatically. You don't have to go and physically put one in anymore. And these are on the newer phones as well. So anyway, I hope that it helped you. I hope you're able to regain a lot of your data, still keep your other messages and texts and everything else. Don't forget to like and subscribe, please and thank you. And uh, forward this on to someone that may need it or may know. And I appreciate you guys watching again. Have a good day.